Oh, I'm sorry. Serve them. Good. Hi, good morning, and good afternoon. I'm Kate Kemper with Sly Fox Fabrics, and we're here today for a new stocking reveal. And we're going to show you some popular restocks uh, that just came in last week as well. We have lots to talk about today, so I'll just chat a little bit until people get a chance to hop on. Mary Beth's next to me over here. She doesn't like the camera, so <laughs> she's waving and eating. She's eating her lunch. Um, let's see here. So we are having $6.99 flat rate shipping for all U.S. orders for the month of November. It's a Thanksgiving um, celebration, kind of a thanks to all of our customers for supporting us and um, being our customers. So we're going to celebrate all month long. And that's uh, all orders that ship in the U.S., including... Um, Hawaii and Alaska and territories, right? Because those are USPS, the territories, plus APOs. Um, and packages ship USPS uh, priority or uh, UPS ground. Let's see what else? Um, anything else with that? No. I think so. Well, you know, it's supposed to start tomorrow, but we could make it start today. It could start today. It could start today. So probably I can real quick change over the website after the live video. We can get that uh, started for you today, a day early. Happy Halloween. <laughs> um, what else is going on? Okay. So we've got the six ninety nine shipping, which I think we're going to start after the video. We have, oh, wait do that. We have um, the Lux Cuddle uh, pre-order coming up soon. We're just finalizing um, the selection right now. It's a little bit of back and forth with uh, the supplier, uh, the manufacturer, just to make sure that there's going to be hopefully enough in stock because I would really hate to sell uh, fabric that's not available um, because it can be available on the day that we put it up for pre-order and then when we go to order it from the manufacturer Someone could have gone in, or someones, a lot of people could have gone in and bought um, bought it all up in the meantime. So that could happen. That's always a possibility with pre-orders. So we try and pick stuff with ample stock to offer. Um, so we're still finalizing that. I'm hoping to get that done today so that we can have it up tomorrow or the latest Friday because we want to sell a Christmas selection so you guys have stuff to make for presents. Um, so this is a picture of Beth Dara's little girl in, uh, what pattern is that? She's a fox, and that's the Lux Cuddle fabric um, that we were given at the Love Notions retreat. And uh, we each got a yard of it in our swag bag, and it, it's luscious. And guess what I did? I took mine home yesterday because I was going to dry it in the dryer to get all the uh, loose fibers out of it, and uh, not even thinking about having it here to show on the reveal. Oh, is mine still here? I don't know. Yeah, I'll go get oh, it. Oh, Mary Beth's going to go get hers. And, oh, I can't remember what this one was called. We got a tag for it in our in our thing. But this is, uh, Beth whipped this little fox thing up in, I don't know, she was talking about patterns, and a couple hours later she posted the picture of this. Look at how cute it is. Um, this stuff is luxurious, and it has so many uses. You can do um, things like uh, this cute little fox thing. You can make stuffed animals. You can make um, robes and coats and uh, home decor, pillows, throws, of those big floor pillows. Um, look at that robe. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and that is, I'm pretty sure that's the silver fox. Um, Lux Cuddle, and we're going to offer that for sure in the pre-order. And I'm going to be covered in this stuff. Uh, yeah, you after are. I Somebody also done. asked if um, it'll be in well before Christmas. Oh, someone asked if it'll be well in well before Christmas. So here's the timeline that I'm planning on. I was hoping to have it the pre-order up today, which would have closed Sunday, and then we could have ordered it Monday. 
um, meaning that we would be then shipping the first full week of December. Was it mm -hmm. December 5th? We would be shipping it out. We'd be shipping it out the full, first full week of December. And we ship uh, priority or UPS grounds. You'd, it would be there if it goes USPS priority three, one to three days. UPS ground is five. Up to five. Up yeah. to five. So, um, so the plan is to get it out to you um, for the holidays, which might mean if we get it up a little late, we might just shorten the pre-order time. That's what I would do. Yeah, so that we can get that order placed as soon as possible, and then whatever we have left over, we would put up for retail. Okay, show them the wrong side. Everybody okay. Wants to see yeah. The oh, wrong yeah. Yeah. Side. Okay. So this is the wrong side. Um, this is the side with the fur, and it is textured. This is the the little. Let me pull that picture back up for you guys real quick. Okay. This is what you see in the picture, and here's the wrong side, and it's 100% poly. I think I have this sideways. No, oh, that's the salvage right here. So it's 100% poly. This is the Lux Cuddle, so it's um, it's like fur. It does not, there is no stretch here, um, but it's 100% polyester, so it can go in the washing machine and in the dryer. Tell them it's just as soft as it looks, because they're all oh, saying it yeah. looks so soft. It looks soft, it's softer. I think it's softer than it looks. It is it is heavenly. And they want to know how that lining feels how the oh how does the lining feels. feel okay it's, pretty soft. it's smooth and it's soft um at the retreat rachel ring was wearing a vest an oakley vest that she made out of it and uh she did not have it lined and it was very comfortable she even had pockets inside there and everything with the zipper up um it's real smooth i don't know if you can that's my fingernail going across it carolyn told him that it's not super soft but it's it's, yeah, it's not super it's soft, not but it's not scratchy or rough. Um, and by the way, brushed poly is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Poly can be pretty smooth and not rough. So this is, um, if you wanted to make a blanket, like a throw blanket with this, and by the way, we'll be putting up uh, free tips and tricks and stuff like that from Shannon uh, Fabrics, which is where this comes from on our site with instructions on how to make a really easy blanket, um, you would just fold it instead of, you could put another fabric on the back, like a smooth cuddle, or you can just fold fold it in half and sew it up, um, and you would have it on both sides, <laughs> which sounds great to me. Um, I was actually thinking about making Christmas presents out of this, blankets for my nieces and my father-in-law. They would love them and I saw online that the blankets out of this they sell for like 150 bucks wow. I mean it's crazy so um so that's that's the Lux cuddle and then the cuddle I don't have a piece of the cuddle to show but uh about half of the fabrics that I picked out um aren't available <laughs> which is really sad so I gotta go back and regroup and pick out some stuff because I want to make sure that we offer we have um, not an overwhelming offering, but we offer enough stuff that you can order it in and mix and match it together to make your your projects. So we want it to be pretty together. Okay. Oh, you never did say the price. Everybody's asking about the oh, price. Oh, the price. We're still, we're, I think we have the price finalized, but I don't know. It's very... The prices are very competitive, let's just say that. I've been, <laughs> I've been looking around, and you know we like to give you really good prices on your pre-orders. So let's just say it's going to be very competitive. I, I'll have that as soon as, as soon as we have the offering. I'll have the final pricing as well. So today, on the reveal video, you know we give away all the fabrics we show, the new stocking fabrics, to a lucky winner. All you have to do is comment. You can comment as many times as you like on the video, and we will pick somebody at random. We're also going to do patterns today. So New Horizons um, has given us a Bourbon Street skirt pattern and a New Orleans tee, which you see in this lovely picture here, to give away. So we're going to give uh, two lucky winners. One will get the, the skirt, and one will get the t-shirt. Um, and we're going to pick the same way. Just comment on the video. And uh, we'll pick random winners um, based on that. So go check out New Horizons. They have a lot of great patterns. Um, and these are perfect for your holiday outfit. If you're thinking about Thanksgiving, 
I know some people like to dress up. I usually put a dress on for Thanksgiving. Um, so check them out. All right, are you guys ready to get started? I'm gonna show you restocks real quick. Real quick, like some of this stuff we haven't had in since last, last year. Uh, this is the metallic jersey. It's mocha. It's a top weight, it is light. It is not see-through unless it's made into a skirt <laughs> and it's not gathered. This is a top weight fabric, it is for tops. Um, you could do a dress or a skirt out of it. You'd want to gather it. You'd want to line it if you did that. Um, but there is basically, this is mocha on mocha. And there is some metallic thread in there. I would think that this would have Lurex in it or something. But the fiber content is poly spandex according to our, oh, I think I have that in my nose, um, according to the supplier. So it's stretchy. It's comfortable, it's light, it's great for tops that drape because it just picks up the light. It's so pretty. Uh, and that's mocha, mocha colored. We have a couple more colors on order. Um, they're incoming uh, pretty soon here uh, with the supplier. So we'll have those as well. Um, this is a really pop popular print. Every time it comes into stock, it goes right back out. It's our Interlude in Ivory. It's double brush poly. It's nice and super buttery soft and stretchy. It's available right now. Um, just to let you guys know. <laughs> You're ahead of me. <laughs> I just got Mary Beth. Okay. Uh, this is our Magenta Melange sweater knit. Oh, it's brushed and you know what? I still have this. I still have my two yard cut from last year. It's all washed up and ready to be sewn into something really pretty. I was going to make myself something for Christmas with this last year. Oh, really? So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that this year. So that's this gorgeous, um, melange sweater knit brush. So it's super soft. And when, when these get washed, they fluff up even better. Oh, let them know that this is not scratchy. Oh, she the know, metallic knit. Someone asked if the metallic knit was scratchy. It's not scratchy. It's kind of silky, smooth feeling. It's not scratchy at all. It's not your metallic knit from the 70s that, that Mary Beth used to wear when I was little. <laughs> Did I say 70s? I think I meant the 90s. <laughs> um, the next one is a Crazy On You sweater knit. Uh, this, oh, this one is so soft. It's so light, a lighter sweater knit super buttery soft and it is brushed and it's beautiful and it was it was a favorite in the shop so we got it back in for you guys um also the same base fabric is this risque sweater knit and um also super buttery soft it's brushed it's lighter weight also nice and drapey i think i saw somebody had a cocoon party made out of this oh, on yeah. the page back when we had it initially, really cute. There you go. Um, the next one is Smitten in Marsala in Slate. This is single brushed poly. This one went really fast, so we got it back in. <laughs> and uh, it's got these beautiful colors. Single brushed poly is the same fabric base as double brushed, only it's brushed on one side, on the, on the print side. And then the back side is silky smooth and it feels really nice against your skin and it has really nice drape if you're not familiar with a uh, single, single brush. Somebody wants to know if that matches. It does not. The, the magenta does not match. Not a match. <clears throat> but, but the rust will be. Um, How about that one? The new one. The, oh, this is... Uh, um, Cinnamon double oh, okay. double brush. It doesn't match. Okay. We have another. We have another sweater in it. That pomegranate. I don't think will match either. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Of. You know what might match it is that one we got in last week. It's a, that rose. Is it over there? No. It's it's not. Um, I'll just set that aside. Maybe we can grab a piece of that uh, to show. Moonstruck in black uh, with the, this one has the pink and kind of bluish colored flowers in it. It's single brush poly. 
Moonstruck is always a favorite. It's beautiful print. Okay, that one went really fast too last time we had it. And then this one, we have not had this one in a while. I had to rephotograph it to put it up. <laughs> it's Joy in, I think, Chambray. It's got these beautiful, it's, you know, the Chambray blue with these beautiful uh, purplish plum colored flowers. It's single brushed, a little bit heavier than that, uh, than the Moonstruck. So it's nice and you can see how the shiny silky um, on the back side. So that's Joy. And those are every, I added a restock um, category to our website on the homepage and on the drop down under new arrival so that just the restocks would be, would show up there, it'd be easier to find them. Did you talk about the rose colored sweater knit was kind of silky? No, the, remember we got the sage sweater knit in last <clears throat> last week and then we had also the same base in uh, dark rose. Yeah. The supplier called it rust. That one. I, that one might. I'll go get it that. might. I don't really know. I don't think so. I don't, yeah. Mary Beth's going to go grab a piece of sweater knit, see if it matches the smitten. Okay. Let's get to our new stocking. Our new stocking step. Okay, so let's do uh, our double brush first. So this is Eden. We had Eden in Round Shally last summer, and now we have Eden and double brush Polly with a red background. I forgot I have to show you guys the uh, our coordinates. Let's throw this on here. I don't know if this is my color. Plus, I caked on the blue eyeshadow today, so. Might look a little clownish on me. And it's a super gray day here today. So I had to get the lights, all the lights out. Because it's really, it's really dark. All right. What do we got going on here? Nope. Oh, I'm all out of order. Okay. Well, jet black. Because there is all these little black linings and stuff in here, so the black does actually look really nice with it. Um, mustard gold goes with these pretty yellow flowers. Sea foam, there's a uh, surprise, sea foam green in here. You may or may not like that <laughs> together, but it does match, just so you know. And then uh, white, so um, there, the flowers in here are white as opposed to ivory. All right, what's our next one? Got some fun ones today. Here's Blaze. This is a new print. I love this print. Sarah Maddox said it looks like it's flowers that are skinny dipping. It looks like they're sitting on a pond and they're half in and half out of the pond. I don't know what kind of ponds she has down there in Nashville, but I don't see these kind of flowers where I am. So this is Double Brush Poly, super soft, nice and stretchy, and the stretch percentages are on the website, by the way, um, in case you're looking for something specific for a specific garment. The flowers in here and the colors and the leaves are just gorgeous. Um, yeah. I just love them. So let's get you some coordinates for Blaze. The colors are kind of bright. so. You know, as I was going through, I noticed a lot of bright coordinate colors. Uh, this is Canary, which the lighting is not liking very much, but it matches. <laughs> Light's completely um, bouncing off of this. Coral, Ivory, Jet Black, um, Coral, it's really pretty, yeah, and Ivory, of course. And, of course, the background is black. Black black backgrounds and black double brush poly always match. Just to, just put that, file that away in your brain. They always match. Um, if the background is called something different other than black, like coal or charcoal or something, it's probably not going to be an exact match to black. Lipstick red. Lipstick red. Are we out of lipstick red? Not quite. Not quite. <clears throat> Maroon. Maroon, ooh, I like that. It's a 
screen. And red, just regular red, which is brighter than lipstick red. And white, Ooh, I guess the white and the ivory both match. And then uh, cinnamon, which is right here. That looks good. Yeah, it looks nice. So that's Blaze. What you got? What do you think? So I like them both with it because I took a piece out. Oh, yeah, that that's really, really pretty. But this one's pretty too because it's dark. You like that one with it too? I do. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the question about Smitten. Okay, so here's the Smitten restock, and then this is, isn't this Heathered Sweater Knit and Dark Rose? Mm -hmm. This is Heathered Sweater Knit and Dark Rose. Let's see if I can try to get some flowers in there. Okay, there's the flowers. Here's, oh, it's so pretty together. Of course, of course Mary Beth brought a two yard piece in. Well, yeah, because I wasn't gonna cut one. <laughs> So yeah, those mat the heathered um, heathered sweater knit and dark rose matches, and then Mary Beth likes this, which is a new sweater knit which we haven't shown you yet. It's called pomegranate. I'll get to it in a minute. She likes this with it. I do. See, I don't think that matches. I do, but she thinks she likes it. My old eyes do. <laughs> her, she said her whole her old tired cones and rods think that this is a good combo. <laughs> Ooh. So, um, so by the way, next week we're going to be doing this on the video. We're going to let you guys choose what you want to see. Pick the fabrics that you want to see. We'll pull them out. Talk about them. We'll put up a post about it on uh, on Sunday. All right, moving along. Winter camellia. So we had autumn camellia. Now we have winter camellia in garnet. This garnet is January's birthstone, which is in the winter. So, it's double so brush poly. <clears throat> and you can see the background is like this Cabernet garnet, beautiful colors, and you have these really pretty red flowers. And it's super soft, just like the um, autumn camellia. It's really nice. Okay. Oh. Ooh, almond is really pretty with this, and ivory, and maroon. Is this maroon? Maroon, like that, and red. Because there's some some brighter red colors in here. It's kind of Christmassy looking, mm -hmm. and white and cinnamon. So here's white. And then here's the cinnamon. Ooh, what do you think about the cinnamon? I like it. She likes it. It's, old, it's not too clashy with the background. No, it's not clashy with the background. I think because it has, um, it's kind of more of an orange red. Okay, so that is the winter camellia and garnet. And then uh, we got this, Mary Beth picked out this camo, and I gotta say, I love it. I think it is so cool. I'm gonna call it urban camo, only because of the colors, but isn't that great? Can't you see, okay, I can see little boys. That's, I think of boys when I see this, but it's great for girls too. I was talking to Sarah this morning, and she said she would love a raglan out of this. Um, and she didn't like it when I, when I asked her, hey, should we order this? She said, I don't like that but she likes it now. <laughs> um, it's double brush poly, super soft and stretchy. The colors in here are um, ivory and black. So it's not white, it's ivory. Here's the ivory. And then oh, I just love fur in my nose. Um, black, of course, of course. And then maroon. So you can see so right here is a maroon color, but there's two reds in here. There's maroon, and then there's this other red right here that's like a burgundy color. See that? Yeah. They look real close, but so that's what kind of gives it even more of an interesting look. I'll show. I'll pull it up close for you. So you can see the burgundy here, and then the it's like a brick red right there, or maroon, maroon red. So that's the camo and double brush poly. 
see what do we have next ooh, ooh, I love this animal print this is double brush poly and this is called animal print in latte because just like with the um, plaids I never know what animal print I'm looking at unless it's zebra <laughs> like is this what is this? Is this leopard? Is it cheetah? What is it? I don't know what it is. It's just an animal print. Um, it, it is usually when we get an animal print in, they're more like the caramel, um, caramel colored. This is more of a mocha latte color. Um, the picture is accurate. It looks a little bit not as rich right here, but over he, here it's accurate. So mocha matches. It's a really nice combo. And black. Black is nice. I think mocha and black were the only two on this one. Let me check over here. Yeah, those are the only two picked out, but it's so pretty. Um, nice and soft. There's your nice and stretchy. I can't remember what the percentage was on this. Like if you could get leggings out of it. Would you wear leggings? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it'd be a cute dress. Somebody said she could she wants to make her daughter a circle skirt out of it. Oh yeah, a circle <clears throat> skirt for a little girl would be really cute with a little pair of boots. It'd be adorable. Oh, now we're gonna move on to the sweater knits. Let me get that out of there. Okay. We went a little crazy recently with sweater knits. So we have a lot of sweater knits over the next couple weeks. Um, this is Mystify, which we have in Double Brush Poly with an ivory base. And this is yellow. The picture's accurate. I was playing with the color, the lights earlier, and I'm just, I can't get, I can't get it to show up holding it uh, very well. So uh, it's a lightweight, brush sweater knit. Same base as the Risqué and the Crazy on You. Um, where are you, Mr. High? Okay, so there's some black outlining in this. So the black looks really nice with it. I like the black with it. Mm -hmm. And if you could see the real color, it's very golden. So the black is really pretty with it. Uh, lipstick red, which is right here. A lot of lipstick red and reds today. Lipstick red and regular red, and again, sea foam. I don't know how this sea foam keeps popping up everywhere, but it does. But these, um, these flowers in here are nice. There's a lot of red and orange and amber colors. That's pretty too, though. You like the sea mm -hmm. foam with it? I do. Okay, and cinnamon. right here in this flower there's a lot going on a lot of reds and pretty amber colors okay so that's mystify Ooh, okay so this is the one I was just showing you it's the pomegranate and this is a two-tone brushed sweater knit this is heavier than those uh, printed ones and this really fluffs up nice when you wash it. We were washing this at the retreat because we took it to, to sell and then Mary Beth washed everybody's fabric for them. <laughs> washed and folded it. Um, it's got this gorgeous two-tone uh, surface. Oh, I see the lights kind of messing with it. But uh, it's super soft and it's this reddish, what would you call it? It's like a red orange. Yeah, like a red orange. Um, it's got more orange than red. It's looking red on the picture and stuff, but it's not very red. red. You think it has more orange than red? See, oh yeah. Oh, did I write one? Mm, let me see. Okay, so this is a very orangey. Cinnamon okay. is a very okay, orangey. Okay, somebody just red. asked about that, so yeah. hold them up together. I don't. They don't match. No, not to me. They they don't go together. So I feel like this almost has like a blue tone in it or something weird like that. It's so pretty. I know, it's really pretty. 
Is that see-through? No, it's not see-through. In fact, almost everything I show you is not see-through. Sometimes when I hold it up, you can see through it, but you don't wear your garments a foot off of you. So anything, go pull something out of your closet that you bought that's top weight and hold it up to the light, you're going to be able to see through it. But when you wear the fabric, you cannot see through it. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to this for a second because my next one, I want to show them together because I think they're really pretty together. Okay, <laughs> it's called Afterglow in Teal and Konya. I oh, like after the sunset, it's afterglow. Mary Beth has a, just her mind is in the gutter all the time. Um, the picture is accurate for color and this is the first time I've ever photographed something teal and it actually showed up in the photograph. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Maybe because of the oranges in it, you think? Maybe, maybe. Um, this is a, like a heavier weight. Um, the back side is this two-toned gray color, so that's the fabric base. And it is a two-tone uh, teal. You have these really beautiful flowers on here. Um, let me see. Let's, let's look at... Oh, this one had a, quite a few. Um, brush poly coordinates. So, by the way, with sweater knits, they're mostly a uh, horizontal stretch. You might get a tiny bit of vertical. Sometimes you get 50% vertical stretch. It just really depends, but they're mostly a two-way horizontal stretch. All right, so let's show you Cabernet. Cabernet is a nice match. Dark olive? dark olive, and that's charcoal. <laughs> Here's dark olive. Dark olive matches the leaves. Um, dark raisin. By the way, anybody that's holding out for everyday olive to come back, I've, I've given up on finding it. So I think our supplier switched their olive color. Marsala. Mocha. Mocha's over here. Really? Mocha? What is mocha? Oh, it matches those. Okay. Mocha. And sage. Matches the leaves. Okay, so I also wanted to show you, this is really pretty with, um, with the uh, pomegranate. It goes great with the, the background in here. I don't know if you'd mix these two together, but um, if you wanted to, they're pretty together. So this is Afterglow in Teal and Cognac. And yes, because I was thinking it reminds me of like um, a winter evening when you have, it's really cold and snowy outside and you have a fire going in the fireplace and you want to put on a nice warm cozy sweater because you're freezing. And um, the sun is going down, so it's getting even colder. And you have that little bit of, you know, that little bit of sunlight in the sky. That's what that reminds me of, because the flowers are so beautiful. It reminds me of a wintertime sunset after the sun goes down. So that's where the name came from. Okay. This is a two-tone cognac, just like the, the pomegranate. But it's cognac, and it also goes with the afterglow. You want it back? Yeah. Make this work. See, isn't that pretty? Yeah, yeah they're really pretty together. Um, if you want to see what these two look like together. So see how red this one looks now, the pomegranate, mm -hmm. compared to the to the um, cognac, okay. And you could drink cognac when you wear your afterglow sweater next to the fire in the winter time. <laughs> well, you could make joggers out of this, out of the cognac. That would be yeah. comfy. So the um, the picture is the accurate color. <laughs> okay. And you can have that too. Thank you. All right. What else?
A few more. We have a few more left. This is First Love, and it's a heather gray background, which is the same as the back. Another soft sweater knit. Are you thinking that's going to match? No, it doesn't. The colors are just a little bit off. Cognac does not match this. Um, you see these beautiful flowers? They're so pretty. Nice big flowers. Uh, super soft. This is brushed and nice and stretchy. Not see-through. Super cute. Oh, do you want to see some... <laughs> I'm going to see some uh, coordinates. Let's see here. Oh, we have one. One coordinate. Blush. Just in case you have to mix double brush poly with it for any reason whatsoever, the blush goes with it. Ready? Oops. This is a fun one. Oh, uh, it's a lightweight sweater knit. I cannot tell, honestly, if this is brushed or not. I don't think that the product description says it's brushed, but it's soft. It looks a little washed out on the screen. It actually is the color in the picture. It's more intense, um, creamier colors. And it's, it's really soft, but I don't think it's brushed. What do you, do you think it's brushed? You feel it? And I can't see really a nap on it either. Like a, no, it usually is. If it is not as much as the rest of them, but yeah. I haven't washed any of that. Yeah, it's so still soft. This, we sold this in a bundle at the Love Notions Retreat with uh, stretched denim. Isn't it cute? With a pair of like bellish bottom denim jeans. Bellish bottoms. Bellish bottoms. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, flares, not <laughs> bell bottoms, but flares. You know, 90s style or early 2000s. Um, there was one one coordinate for this, and it's mocha. Here it is. It's hiding. It looks pretty good. Yeah. See, I'm looking at this with my jeans. I got jeans on today. And it's cute. Love it with jeans. And guess what? We sell stretch denim. So you could order this in denim and make an outfit. Okay. So our last fabric to show is this baby French terry. And this is Nightfall. And this is a rayon polyester. No spandex in this one. And it is printed on the loop side. It's the same base as the Smitten Baby French Terry. Oh, it's delicious. It really so is delicious. Pretty. It's so soft. When you have the, I think it's 65% rayon. It's so stinking soft. I love it. And the color is really pretty. It's got really soft muted tones, which is Mary Beth's favorite. She loves stuff with um, soft muted tones. Like me. Like her. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> nothing soft or muted about you. <laughs> um, okay, so brushed poly coordinates would include almond and charcoal. The charcoal matches really nice. And mocha. Ooh, look at the mocha. Ooh, that's pretty. And um, sage. Sage goes with these pretty little sage leaves. I like all of them. Mary Beth likes all of them. Next thing you know, she'll be showing up with a, uh, what is that called? Oh, the true romance. The true romance <laughs> top in, in this. And it'll be cute because she has one in the um, smitten. The smitten. It's really pretty. And by the way, some of the loop side prints pill and snag easier than others. This one does not. And neither did the smitten. Yeah, the, for me. the same it's the same fabric base as the smitten. We know this because Mary Beth wears tops in here made out of um, out of her smitten loop side print 
baby French Terry and then picks up big heavy rolls of fabric and rubs them up against her and she works really hard and her top is fine. So, <laughs> so that is the um, Nightfall and Charcoal Baby French Terry. So again, you could win all the new fabrics I showed, not the restocks. We don't include those in the in the, the Reveal Booty winning. But they're still a pretty nice But there's still a, an LFRB full of cuts there, I'm sure, um, to be sent out to one lucky winner. So just comment, and if you comment, you'll be in the running to win one. And don't forget, don't forget about our uh, New Horizons um, free... Uh, Bourbon Street and New Orleans tee, Bourbon Street skirt, New Orleans t-shirt. Uh, we're going to give one of each pattern away to uh, two lucky winners. And So you want to know what top you're wearing? What top am I wearing? This is a Love Notions Whistler. Whistler. <laughs> Whistler. Um, and it's made out of the Slub French Terry that we had that was a special closeout buy from one of our uh, suppliers and um, it's teal and it's got gray slub and stuff and it's one of it's my favorite top and with really cute buttons actually Sarah Maddox made this top for me and I told her to pick out the buttons and I thought she did a really nice job because I would have picked these out she she gets me is this directional somebody asked if this would you know and I can't tell because no all the big flowers seem to be pointing the same direction the little the uh, they're, it's not directional. The big flat. Okay, so on the somebody's asking about the nightfall here. Let me show you. Oh yeah, it's turned. Yeah, what? it's not directional. It it just the big flowers are pointing. You can see some are pointing down, some are pointing up, some are sideways. Mm. I just think those big ones just kind of fly out at your they eye. They catch your eye. Yeah. yeah. So it's multi-directional. Any other questions? Do you want to explain to them what you're going to do next week? Because a lot of people are asking for like French terry coordinates for certain fabrics. And oh, stuff. okay. So you want to kind of explain? Okay, so next week what we're going to do is instead of uh, we're going to do this throughout the rest of the year, instead of a new fabric reveal every single week, we're going to do new fabric reveals every other week. So next week, um, in, in the in between weeks, we're going to put up a poll on Sunday. Um, and you guys can go in and add fabrics to the poll and then vote on other fabrics that you want to see that are in the shop that you might want to see mixed with um, sweater knits. Sweater like, what does this sweater knit look like? With Does it match any of the French cherry solids? Or um, does the tri-blend solid match this French cherry? And on and on. And, and we'll... Um, We'll get them. We'll, we'll get the fabrics ready, and we'll show them to you, and we'll answer your questions. So we'll do basically the same thing. We'll give you whatever news we have that day, but we're going to basically show you um, what you want to see. So because uh, I know it's really hard to shop online, it's really hard to know what things look like together. And there's even times when I pull up a coordinate picture and stick it on a fabric page, and I look at that and I go, "Well, I know it matches in real life because I'm sitting here looking at it, but it really doesn't look like it matches on the page." So um, it'll be a nice opportunity to kind of show you some things that you want to see. What is the stretch like? What is the drape like? What, what is the fabric like? So you pick it, and we'll get it together, and, and we'll show it. Um, so we'll do that every other week uh, throughout the end of December and see how it goes. If, it, if, if you guys like it, well, we'll just keep doing it. So we're upping the amount of fabric that we stock on our stocking days to kind of cover the next two weeks. And... Um, Hopefully we can give the people what they want, what they need. <laughs> More fabric information. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. And um, don't forget to comment so you can have a chance to win uh, fabric or patterns. And we will see you next week um, for our, our live video next week. All right. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. It's really weird. So on here, it shows comments on my screen. On the, um, 
if they come up, they don't tell you who it's from, but you can click to add it to the broadcast. So I wonder what that looks like. Oh. I'm so busy talking, I can't hardly read the comments as they're coming up. Yeah, a lot of people have said, I'd love to see coordinating fabrics that's not fresh poly. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a good idea. I just don't have time to go through every single fabric and match it with every single well, size. Plus, the end, we're not going to have a lot of these again. So. Yeah.